Welcome to Roma as I'm here for the Derby della Capitale between Roma and Lazio. I've travelled all the way from London for this game. It's a massive fixture for Rome. It's a massive fixture for the fans. And as you may or may not know, I'm a massive Lazio fan. And I was here for the reverse fixture earlier on in the season where Lazio went on to win the game 3-2. And I think we need a few clips to just remind ourselves on how big this Derby is. <laughs> So I had to travel back to Rome for this massive derby. 15,000 Lazio fans will be in attendance as well as 40,000 Roma fans will be in attendance as it's technically Roma's home game. So they're going to have more fans for Lazio. 75% capacity will be in a Stadio Olimpico today. But either way, this derby is going to be huge for the fans. It's going to be a massive atmosphere. And the 15,000 Lazio fans, I can promise you, will outsing the 40,000 Roma fans. It is lunchtime here in Rome and I am very hungry. I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. So as an Italian tradition, I'm going to go get some pizza. Let's go get some pizza because I know where to go. When in Rome you've got to have a bit of food and especially pizza or pasta but today I'm by Roma Termini and I always go to this one pizza place which I always go to because it's so good so we're going to try it out today and show you guys because we've got to promote this business. The pizza is a banger. The pizza in Rome is so special, it's so delicious. I want to tuck in. I know I've got lots, but I want to eat lots. It's that good. But now it's time to get to Ponte Milvio, see all the Lazio lads and lasses. And I'll tell you what, we're in for a good derby day today. Let's get to Ponte Milvio and hope Lazio can get the win. Right, a massive shout out to Giorgio. The man, he's a Lazio fan, he's given me a ride to where I'm going to be staying. Thank you, Forza Lazio, dai, yeah. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to Ponte Milvio, meet all the Lazio fans, have a little sing song, which I do not understand, but I'll join in anyway, and let's see what it's all about. Derby della Capitale, let's go. There's so many fans around this Ponte Milvio. The ultras are down in this part, which I just had a beer and I got given some gin. Um, yeah, I don't really like gin, but I had it anyway. But I'm gonna go see some people now in a different area where the atmosphere is still building, so it's gonna be class. No, I'm loving grande. it so far. Yeah, grande, mate. Another section where all the Lazio fans meet up before the game. It's literally surrounded all around Ponte Milvio. This is what I love about derbies like this. So fan bases like this, we got places to meet with the fans, have beers and that before, have marches in stadiums. It's what's class and you don't get in England, which I just really want us to have. I have never shat myself so hard. That, that was a bit too loud for my liking. That, that really, really shook me, but the bangers are going off here. And it's set like, like uh, alarms up in the cars and the bikes around here. Jesus, quality. Yep, you heard that one nice and clear. I've only got one on film, it's, uh, it's a mental one. It's, let's put it that way. The scarves are out. What a fan base. Right, we've got Lazio fans, they've come all the way from Sweden. So how come you're a Lazio fan being from Sweden? Uh, because this is my cousin over here. Oh yeah, yeah, hello mate. And his dad is from Italy. Ah, oh, makes sense now. So me and my friends and my twin brother over here. Hello twin. Yeah, we just go for every derby, every big game, as much as we can. Much respect man, so long as travel, so fair play. They love the smoke bombs around here. The fans are just unbelievable. You know they're going to create one hell of an atmosphere, despite being the away side in this game. Lazio fan, what do we think of Roma? Roma is a shit. Yeah, you know. Come on, Forza Lazio, mate, yeah? Forza Lazio! Come on. 
meeting all you guys is actually insane. Like every single time I meet you guys, it really just brings a massive smile to my face and how precious these moments are in life. To see all you guys from Italy, me traveling from the UK, all the love you're showing me is absolutely insane. I love you all and hopefully we get a win today. This is insane. It's always a march before the game. All the fans march down the one street. Obviously going to the stadium, 15,000 Lazio fans. After talking to so many of you guys, the tensions are rising really, really significantly right now. The derby, oh, it's huge, it's huge for the fans. You know, no one wants to lose this game. I'll tell you what, we're gonna go in there now, see the atmosphere, be back with the Lazio fans, which I've, I've been waiting for for too long. So the police obviously have to block the whole road leading from one bridge to the other and from the road too. So the police with the horses lined up and everything. Come on, boys. We are back. Kurda Nord, we're back home. We're back home, baby. You can hear the atmosphere inside the stadium. Oh, the tension's building, the hype is building, everything's building. I'm just absolutely gassed for this game. The steps to Stadio Olimpico. Come on, let's have a look at this again. It never gets old. There we are. Oh, it feels good to be back. The amount of beers I've been given, I'm surprised I'm still standing. Last fixture is full of Lazio fans, but this one is predominantly Roma fans, as we said in the intro. Lazio players are coming out to train. And look at a cheer they've got from Lazio. Display for the game. It's one nil. It's all kicking off. You got Pyros on that end. You got the hype for the whole game. And the one thing you don't do is concede in the first minute. Honestly. One nil Roma. One minute in. I can't believe it. Two easy on the fence, all in. 
2 0. It's pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic. Yes, yeah, it's pathetic. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. They're playing it down the flanks, and it's so easy for them to put the ball in for Tammy Abraham just to literally put the ball into the net. It's too easy for them. It's a good save. That's, uh, really need to wake up. Otherwise, it could be three, four, or five. Honestly, it's really, really not good. Chance to make it three nil. What? Oh my God. You are joking me. I can't believe it. Free kick, a direct free kick, which went in the top right corner. And it was an unbelievable goal. You can't, do not get me wrong, incredible. 3-0 down in 40 minutes. That's unacceptable. And that's half time. 3-0 down at half time is unacceptable. Lazio to not die and, and these things happen but it's unacceptable this is happening. Second half has just started. There was no heart in the first half. At least show a bit of fight in the second half. Shoots over the bar. He got an elbow to the face of the ball and they've given a yellow. He got an elbow off the ball and it's a yellow card. I don't understand, but they calls up a flare up. And it makes no sense to me. If you get an elbow deliberately off the ball, but it's a red card, surely. Win, lose or draw, even if it's against your rivals, they're always back in your team. Unfortunately, it's just not a good day at the office for Lazio. No fight in the first half, and the second half, all the Roma are doing is holding on to a 3 0 lead. fans are waving their scarves around. Four minutes are left of this game. And, and yeah, there's only one outcome, isn't there? The game is literally seconds away from ending. And this is showing their support, despite them losing their biggest game of the season. Massive, massive respect because you wouldn't get this in England at all. They'd all be home by now.
really respect Hardy's fans. They lost one of their biggest games in a derby. And it means so much to them. Yet they still sing their hearts out. But the fans are really not up in that performance. The 3 0 kind of speaks for itself. They put their hands up. They've all put their hands up. They know. They know they weren't great today. You can't win every game. The first half they show no fight, but the second half they did show a lot of fight. And that's the positive they can take out of today. Unfortunately, it was not to be for that, so they did lose 3 0. The damage was done in the first half. Roma got the three goals. Lazio did not look up for it in the first half, unfortunately. In the second half, they showed a lot more fight, but they just couldn't get that goal to get themselves back in the game. And that's how it ended. 3 0 to Roma. It was a demolition in the end. And uh, it is actually quite gutting, if I'm honest. Very, very gutting to lose against your rivals. 3 0. Uh, it's not good, is it? On a positive note, thank you very much to all the Lazio fans I did meet because you guys were absolutely insane. Every single one of you I've met today was absolutely so special and welcoming to me. So thank you very much. Shout out to all of you. You're all amazing. And Lazio, I will be back very, very soon. I want to go to another game very soon. So hopefully, I'll see you guys in the Stadio Olimpico very soon, where actually Lazio go on to win this time. It wasn't to be, but I love all you Lazio fans, I love Lazio as a club. Thank you very much for watching this video, I know it wasn't to be, but next time Lazio will get the win. Leave a like, subscribe, goodbye guys.